The two-story Western Sydney home of John Ibrahim's mother has been raided by police following the shooting of the family bodyguard Sammy Tong and Sam Garda last week. The 59-year-old was shot in the back at the Merrillad's home late on Friday night as the family of the King's Cross identity was making last-minute preparations for a weekend wedding. Police returned to Price Street on Tuesday afternoon to scour the area for clues, carrying out line searches. Six homes in the area were searched, with a number of items seized, including hard drives. The raids came after detectives revealed a Subaru WRX, believed to have been used as a getaway car, was stolen three weeks earlier. The Subaru was later found burnt out in nearby Mays Hill and security footage showed a group of men jumping out before one returned to ignite it. It was stolen from a property at Pemulwu in late October, police said on Tuesday. A second vehicle stolen from the same property was recovered about a week later in Merrillads, not far from the scene of the shooting. Detectives want anyone who saw the dark metallic blue WRX potentially involved in last week's shooting to come forward, and stress that they can do so confidentially. Mr. Garter had surgery at Westmead Hospital where he remains in a stable condition. He has been assisting authorities with the investigation, a New South Wales police spokesman told AAP on Wednesday. Mr. Garter is one of the Ibrahim family's most trusted figures. The shooting came in the lead-up to the wedding of John Ibrahim's nephew Hassan Sam Sayoy and Aisha Mihaja, the sister of former Auburn Deputy Mayor Salim Mihaja. Police maintained a presence at the nuptials on Saturday night, concerned further violence could erupt. Mr. Ibrahim's brothers, Fadi and Michael, and son, Daniel, are before New South Wales courts accused of involvement in an international tobacco and drug smuggling conspiracy. His model girlfriend, Sarah Budge, is facing firearms and ammunition charges following a series of organised raids and arrests across Sydney and the United Arab Emirates in August. Copyright AAP 2017